everybody and welcome to my shop. I am a huge fan of these old industrial lamps. But the problem is they are made for very, very high ceilings, like the ceiling in my shop. But if you want to have them in your living room, that means they usually hang right under the ceiling, which doesn't look good, or they're always in the way and hang way too low. So my idea is instead of hanging them from the ceiling, I thought I could build like a wooden tripod that they could sit on. And I'm going to start by picking out the right wood for this project. I picked out this poplar wood, mainly because it's nice and bright. It gives a great contrast to the lamp and I had it flying around in the shop. So why not use it? Smooth up. Ooh. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this into manageable pieces and then put it to the planer so we get a nice and even edge and surface to work with. Here we go.
we glue it all together, let's have a little dry fit and see how it looks. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, that was so much work and it looks like I put just two sticks under this lampshade. It's, I don't like it at all. I almost hate it. <laughs> I almost hate it. Now, why? Why does it look so weird? Maybe one part is that the piece where most work went into is hidden by the lamp. Like you don't see this beautiful segmented ring. And the next part is that that this just like it, it just looks like two by fours stuck in a lampshade. What I like is that it kind of I like the angle. It kind of looks like the like the light that comes out of it. But other than that, I don't like it at all. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> now, in these cases, I don't think I will solve this by staring at the object. I think what I'm gonna do is go home, get some sleep, maybe go to the movies, maybe drink a beer or a coffee and try to get in a different headspace and come back with fresh eyes and maybe then I can see what's wrong with this horrible lampshade. <laughs> we'll see. Right now I'm super frustrated because I put all this effort and all this work into something that looks like it was just put together in two minutes and that is not a good design I think. So I will take a break, come back and hopefully find a solution for this tomorrow. It's the next day now and I think I'm ready to tackle the problem. I think I need to put more emphasis on the segmented ring because that is the heart of the design. And I also want to put more details into the legs so they don't look like one by fours anymore. So let's start fresh. Here we go. might not be my favorite object I ever built but the best thing about building stuff is that the process is always fun even if you don't like the result that much. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week with a new video. Oh and by the way I did end up finding some purpose for the first version of the lamp.